Hello there, today it's Thursday, April 11th and it's 6.19 a.m. So I will do my skincare. I woke up at 5 but honestly I fell back asleep because I was really tired. My skincare is pretty simple as it is. So I have this Glow Recipe toner, of course, before I need to put on my skincare headband. So today I start at 8 and I have a lab. Then I use the Glow Recipe Dew Drops and these ones are really good, like they hydrate my skin so well. Like the other day I was sick and not even my skin was dry, so that's really good because sometimes my skin gets really dry. Then I use the moisturizer from Glow Recipe as well and I feel like using the whole collection is just a skincare routine on its own. It's like the same scent and the same brand. The last thing is the mist and this one is kind of running low but I still have some. I just need to let this sink into my skin and meanwhile I will get dressed and then I'm gonna go do my makeup. I'm back, so this is my outfit. It's very simple, honestly. It's only a white t-shirt from Aritzia. And I also have some black Lululemon leggings because today I'm gonna go to Pilates and I will do my makeup right now. That's my coffee. I start with foundation. So I have this MAC light foundation and it's so light and like not a lot of coverage. So it's basically very liquidy. I just blend it with this brush. Apparently my shade is neutral and and it's the lightest shade because I'm really pale. So I use the lightest shade for my skin. You can barely see it and that's what I like. It only evens out the skin tone and it doesn't leave any like streaks. Then I use this concealer by MAC and I bought it at the same time as the foundation so they match. I use a little brush like that. I only put some like on my chin or my nose and on my forehead and then I blend. Now let's move on to bronzer. So I use this cream bronzer by Anastasia and I use this, well, angled brush for bronzing. And I don't like to use too much of this cream bronzer because it can use like some streaks. And then I use this little brush to contour my nose. I contour the sides like this and I will go over after so it's just like an outline. The next thing is my cream blush and I just used the e.l.f. cream blush because the color was really pretty. For setting powder, I used this Huda Beauty setting powder in I think shade pound cake and I'm just gonna re-blend my concealer first and today I also want to do a slick back for my hair because I'm having a bad hair day and it's gonna be good because like I have a lab and I have some Pilates tonight so it's gonna be really good that I have a slick back bun or ponytail so I just dab my beauty blender on my hand after I put in the powder and I gently press it under my eyes. Now for the fun part, I like to contour my nose, but I want to let it bake. So I just literally put it on my nose like that. For powder bronzer, I use this hourglass bronzer you can see my camera it's kind of like a marbled bronzer so there's like some highlighter and bronzer in there it's darker than my other one and since it's powder it blends better than the cream one i also need to contour more my forehead because if i want to just look back i kind of want my forehead to look a little bit smaller than it is and i contour my nose again with my little brush you saw i put like too much on there maybe it's not really visible but when i put too much you can tell that I put too much. For powder blush, I use this Dior Rosy Glow and I just put some over my other blush. For highlighter, I use this Too Faced Moon Crush Highlighter in shade Shooting Star. And this one is like a really pale rose gold and I only put a little bit on my cheeks and my nose. And it's so sad, I ran out of my setting spray so I can't use it. Let's hope that my makeup stays throughout the day. Um, but I ordered some more from Sephora. It's the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. I just put some brow gel on and now I'm going to draw in my brows with this Revolution brow pencil. For mascara, I use this Yves Saint Laurent mascara and this one is a really thick brush so you can see the difference the last thing is my lips so I use this lip liner from L'Oreal then I use a lipstick or any like lip gloss that I want but today I'm going for this MAC neutral lipstick this lipstick smells so good so that's the makeup look i'm gonna do a slick back bun and for that i'm gonna need some products like that like a gel i'm just gonna part my section my top section of my hair like that and i'm gonna do a slick back ponytail with the rest that's my ponytail and now let's do the top 
parts. So I will take this and I'll just separate it in half. That's my slick back ponytail. It's done. And that's the middle parting. So now I'm going to put it into a bun. That's my slick back and it looks really good. So now let's put on my jewelry and leave to go to school. I'm in the car to go to school. So I was a little bit in a rush. And that's my bun. That's how it turned out. It's like a messy clean, like a clean messy bun. And I like it. I need to read a book for my French test today. And my breakfast, my um, running late breakfast is this bar. And I'm probably also going to bring this protein shake. It's a coffee protein shake. So I have my lab in like 40 minutes. It's a pretty like straightforward lab. It's not like a long lab report kind of thing it's just basic lab but the teacher might make us do like two labs in one class so we don't have to come to school next week so that's my purse and today i brought um, only my ipad i didn't bring my macbook it's too heavy then i have my headphones i also have my biology notebook and i also brought um my huge stanley cup to keep it in my locker because sometimes i go back to my locker and you know drinking water throughout the day is really good is there a little bit of traffic today surprisingly I just came back home and it's raining outside so I kind of want to stay in for the rest of the day now it's like 2 15 p.m. and my French class got cancelled which means I have the whole weekend to study for that test and I'm so happy because like I needed to be more prepared at least I got some work done and after that I did some math for like two hours no wait yeah like two hours and I went shopping so I'm gonna show you what I bought I will do a haul of what I got at a I got some more like summery things because we're in April. Yeah, so the first thing I got is this gray tank top That's the top and everything is in small um, And this is by TNA home stretch and it's really soft It's like I could wear it as a pajama indoors or even outdoors. It's not cropped It's just a regular tank top next thing some socks and these ones are by Wilfred and they're the crew socks Even the cashier told me like oh, they're so cute. I want to buy them and I I only have Nike socks, but I feel like, you know, some more cozy socks would be really nice too. And um, that would match with all of my gray outfits. The next thing is this long sleeve from Contour. And you might think that I already have it, but it's not the same thing. I have the bodysuit and it's like a squared low neck, but this one is like a regular neck and it's not a bodysuit. And the last thing that I got is this tube top. It's white and maybe it's a little bit cropped, but not much. And this one is probably also by Contour. Yeah, it's by Contour. And that would look so cute with like linen pants because it's really beachy and I could wear this over a swimsuit so definitely a summer must have that's pretty much it for my shopping haul and I go shopping when I vlog because it's always super fun to show you what I bought I will go study at a cafe because the cafe is like right in front of the Pilates studio so that's really convenient for me and also I want to grab a cute little drink and study well so that's what I'll do and with me I brought like my MacBook, my notebook, obviously my headphones and other like my pencil case and other things I need to study I'll bring you with me and Pilates is at 5 and I could study for like an hour and a half there so that would be really productive
I'm back from Pilates and I'm gonna show you some school supplies I got. Actually, I just wanna show you my workout before that. So I have my watch with what I recorded and these are my rings for today. So it's pretty good. Oh, wow. Actually, I'm impressed with myself. So I did more than like my goals. Um, so it was like an hour Pilates session and I did like some exercise and some movement. It's upside down, I know, but like kind of get an idea. So that was my workout right here. So I'm gonna show you the school supplies that I got. And the first thing is these mechanical pencils. So these ones are gold and they're by Poppin. They're just so aesthetic, like look at this. It's so simple, it's classy. Um, the next thing are these blue ink pens and these ones are pastel colored, like on the outside. And it goes with the rest of like my theme for the school supplies. And the tip is really thin so we can like write really small with it and the last thing obviously are these pastel highlighters i mean and it motivates me to study also they're erasable and i'll need to study a little bit more but at the cafe earlier like i had a smoothie and i was really productive i did humanities and my laboratory did some like other social media stuff i have to do so i was really proud of myself and that was a really good study session that's gonna be it for today's vlog thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you soon subscribe for more vlogs like these and I love you all so much. Bye.